Well, this has truly been the year of the Chinese box office. Revenues are up 35 percent in just the first three quarters of the year. Local films are driving a lot of that. So if Chinese-made movies are gaining popularity there, is it possible they'll also gain popularity here in the United States? I put that question to Jamal Finkley, CEO of Black Tree TV. I think so. I think uh, I think it's partly the scope of what we expect from Chinese films in their in their film market. I think a lot of the West still thinks that you know all Chinese films are going to be, you know, some martial arts, uh, kung fu films or, or what have you. But films that have been bold enough and courageous enough just to show slices of life in and in China or 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 action films have done well in in in, in Chinese markets and here. China is the world's second largest box office territory right now. North America, of course, number one. How long until that reverses in your mind? Do you buy what some experts are saying, that China will overtake North America in the coming years? I don't know. I mean, I understand where the experts are coming from. At the same time, um, the American Hollywood actors are, you know, still most popular worldwide. So still even in China, you know, some of our actors are still more popular there uh, than their actors are there. So I, I think that while, they're, while they're, their film market and the box office will increase as, you know, as we start doing more, um, you know, box office openings and as the piracy situations are, are taken care of, that the box offices will increase. But I think America will still, you know, stay the number one box office for Hollywood movies. I mean, it is Hollywood. You know? Right. Well, you know, Jamal, one of the things I wanted to ask you is the biggest opening weekend for a movie ever in China just happened this year, Journey to the West, Conquering the Demons. It made about $92 million in just the first weekend, went on to gross another $100 million. The movie was filmed in China, made by Chinese studios. And I want to ask, do you think that this will become more common? And the other question, the follow-up to that is, why have people here in the United States never heard of this film? I mean, that's a good question, I, and I, I think it's uh, the outreach and the marketing, you know, obviously drives, you know, our box offices here, and if if it's not a, um, just not being considered as an award movie, or if it's not being pushed as such, then, you know, it's kind of hard for our writers and um, our journalists to get behind these movies and promote them. Well, let me ask you this, uh, and, uh, and I'll ask you to pull out the crystal ball. Your company, Black Tree TV, ranked among YouTube's top 25 content channels, seen on about 3,000 other websites. Where do you see movies going in the next 5, 10, 15 years? And will there come a time when people watch at home on their computers or on their TVs, rather than going out and having that experience in a theater? It's hard to say, and I don't want to be the guy on the wrong side of the of the technology curve to say it won't happen and then it blows up in my face and it's the next big thing. But I, I do think the movie experience, the, the, the big screen, the popcorn, the date, the family night out experience would still be a unique experience in that, in that fashion. I think people have taken a lot more to watching, you know, TV on, on laptops, but, you know, people still, you know, have the desire and need to go to the, to the box office. Yeah, it's not the same experience uh, going and watching a film on one of these. Uh, I agree with you. I think the movie theaters are here to stay. Uh, Jamal Finkley, thanks so much for joining us. Certainly appreciate your thoughts. Thank you for your time.